What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some brand new WWE Action Figure 2020 images for you guys. Moving forward, we do have a couple sets that we're going to take a look at here today. And I got some problems, man. I got some problems. There's a lot of issues, really, with these sets that are coming into it. And I know some of them are out of, of control, but some of them, I just, I don't know. I just don't understand sometimes. And some of them actually do look pretty good, and we're going to get into all that. I'm going to cover all of it, and we're going to talk about it here today, guys. But let's go ahead and start off with basic series. Series 115, Basic Series 115. Starting off first, we do have the Monster Among Men. We got Braun Strowman in the house, and the first thing you're going to notice immediately is that it is a long-haired head sculpt. It is not an updated bald head sculpt, which, if you guys watch the Ringside Collectibles Q&A, Bill actually talked about this. He said, literally, we made a basic, or we made a figure, or we made a head sculpt for Braun Strowman. Like, we confirmed a figure in the line, and then literally, like, a day or two later, Braun Strowman shaved his head completely bald, making that figure he just made completely out of date. And it's like, geez, man. I mean, how do you even, you know what I'm saying? That really sucks. There's the things that, that are out of your control here. But it is a basic Braun Strowman anyway. It's a really nice head sculpt though. You know, this is the top talents or the new top talents or elite Braun Strowman head sculpt, which is really good. If you wanted to buy it and do the bald technique that I taught you on the channel, definitely check that out and you could update this Braun Strowman. But it's just a regular Braun Strowman, nothing too crazy or immaculate with it. But anyways, guys, let's move on. We have Becky Lynch, another head sculpt we've seen before. It is a really strong head sculpt. And this is, I'm not exactly 100% sure, but I'm pretty damn sure this is the exact basic we got in the Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch battle pack that comes with the Universal Championship, I think, that has been hitting Walmarts for months now. And I think that is what this figure is, like to a T, like head to toe, I'm pretty sure. It could be a little bit off, maybe a color change or pattern change, but I'm pretty sure it's the exact same. And I like this head sculpt. I have it on my Ultimate Edition. It looks really, really good. And uh, you guys remember the days when they couldn't get Becky Lynch right? Remember, it was like it took forever to finally get Becky Lynch right, but it looks like they finally have gotten it, and it's really nice to see. But we have seen this basic before. Or don't pay overprice for this. Next up is going to be Big E in the color, the coloring book attire, and I don't know why, but his upper torso looks massive. Like, look at this guy. He looks absolutely ginormous. This is the new Elite Big E head sculpt we got on his Elite figure, and his Elite is definitely better than this. I love these attires, the coloring book attire with the numbers on it. I really want Elites of these. We are getting a Kofi Kingston as well in a basic attire of this, but I really want to see an Elite in both of these. I want both guys to be in Elite form, and so right now these basics for me are just not getting the job done. We do have the new Elite, you know, New Day figures that look really, really good in the last few series in the 78, 79, and those are great, but I think the coloring book attire would have been pretty cool to see as well. Maybe we'll get those in elite form, but we got him in action figure form, but I'm not really feeling it here. Uh, Big E is just a nah for me. Next up is going to be Humberto Carrillo. This is the first time in the line. We have the Chase variant version and the regular version. The regular version is going to be the black and red, and then he does come with two black elbow pads, which is really cool because in the white attire, he comes with two white elbow pads, and I don't feel like we've had white elbow pads in a really long time, so not only do you get the Humberto Carrillo head sculpt basic figure first time in the line, but you also get the two white elbow pads that you could put on some fantasy gears you can put it on like some fix-ups you know CM Punk's I, th I think is the only figure we've ever really gotten with white elbow pads outside of maybe a couple other figures so having these is really huge you could put it on there for medical tape for your feds you could use it as an injury you could do it there's a lot of things you can do it make fix-ups and stuff like that so really cool with the Humberto Carrillo I actually like the head sculpt I like the figure I'll probably pick it up just to make an elite figure no he's really not even on TV anymore at least from what I've seen he may have been I mean I wouldn't even know Brad but it is cool I like the white attire the Charlotte Hornets attire going on. It looks really, really clean. So there's Humberto Carrillo. I would prefer the Chase variant version in the white, but you know, you can pick whatever one you want. Also in Basic Series 115, guys, we also have a look at Tegan Knox. Now this figure right here, man, I am just, I don't know. I am not really feeling this head sculpt. I do not think it captures her very nicely. The head sculpt, like chin area, looks really off. Um, I don't know. It just does not capture the beauty of Tegan Knox or anything like that. Like, the, I love the ombre hair. I like the even the teal, like, super bright mint greenish color for her attire her tattoos look good but the head sculpt is just I don't know I'm just not feeling it I like the hair again but the head sculpt just doesn't really look like Tegan Knox to me it's just off a little bit it kind of looks like I really couldn't even tell you what exactly it is but I'm just not feeling it. you guys could let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below but the Tegan Knox figure is not my cup of tea not only do we have basic series 115 guys you guys can look at the full set here uh, overall I mean you do get the first time in the line Tegan Knox and you also get the first time in the line Humberto Carrillo but I don't know Humberto Carrillo is definitely the strongest figure in the set. 
in my personal opinion. But you guys can let me know what you think of that down in the comment section below. Moving forward, guys, we do have Basic Series 116 after that. And this set's definitely stronger, but there are some also issues with it. And we're going to get into that, guys. Let's start off first with Seth Rollins. So Seth Rollins is going to be in the Survivor Series gear coming up on, uh, on Survivor Series this Sunday. It kind of works out that the timing would be perfect. The timing that we're getting these images, obviously. I don't think the set is actually in stock at Ringside Collectibles Wrestling Figures. Com, but nonetheless, it's the same exact head sculpt we've gotten on Seth Rollins for a while now. You know, the same the same Elite 75, the same top talents, the same basic figure head sculpt that we've seen for a while now, which looks really good. I like the raw armband and everything. It sucks that this is not an Elite. You guys know that this was in the, in the poll for the fan vote Elite series that is coming to Walmart, and this figure did not win this, the vote set. So, WrestleMania 35 it was, but it is cool for parts. You could use the head sculpt. You could also use the knee pads for a fantasy attire Seth Rollins, or if you want to fix up an old Seth Rollins or, or an upcoming Seth Rollins that we get in the future. Maybe you want to use these knee pads for that with the SR logos on there. But, you know, if you're just posing your figures on the shelf and you don't care about articulation whatsoever, then maybe this is the figure for you. But outside of Seth Rollins, guys, we also have my boy Roddy Strong. And I, I call this the, the Notre Dame attire. It's like the green gold attire here. And it looks really good. You got the undisputed armband. You got the elbow pad. Uh, nice head sculpt, nice knee knee pads and everything like that. The Roddy Strong looks really good. Same head sculpt we got on the Elite 72, which was 10 series ago, but it's still really good. I like Roddy Strong a lot, so if you guys missed out on that Elite, you just want a Roddy Strong. I know we don't have any other figures, I don't think, in this green attire from Undisputed Era, but if you don't want the green attire, you can't get the Chase variant version. I think the Chase variant version is in the blue, black, and white, and the green version is going to be the regular version, but Roddy Strong looks good. I love Roddy Strong, but you, you guys know the basic figures are kind of plappy-lappy besides the head sculpts. Any Anyway, but you know, you know, you know, you know. moving forward in the set, guys, we also have Dakota Kai. Now, this one, the head sculpt, I'm just not feeling it again. I feel like we're missing here. It's kind of crazy how well they can nail some people, and then sometimes it's just like, I do not see this one, Brad. So for me here with the Dakota Kai, she does have on her t-shirt here, and I think this t-shirt's not even accurate. I think it's supposed to go like above her top, like like covering her collarbones, but it's not supposed to go all the way over her top. I could be wrong about that. Maybe this is from a different moment, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be cut off above her top a little bit more like towards the collarbone or just below the collarbone area. But this head sculpt reminds me of the movie Dead Silence. You guys ever seen the movie Dead Silence from 2007? I was in the sixth grade when this movie dropped, and I remember it like it was yesterday. You got the puppet, you got the old lady, demon lady, and this head sculpt just looks like it. I'll do a comparison shot on the screen. You guys can let me know, and I'll also pull up Dakota Kai so you guys can also see what she looks like here and you guys can tell me what you think i just don't think that hey it's like it's around the area of dakota kai but it doesn't capture that likeness that we like to see much like back in the day it's like yeah they got you know i can see becky lynch in the head sculpt but it wasn't capturing the becky lynch in the face so that's what I'm getting out of this head sculpt. Just doesn't really look like Dakota Kai. She does have the big white knee brace on there. And for a first time in the line, if you guys want to grab this to have Dakota Kai in your collections, then it definitely is worth the pickup. But you may want to wait on the Elite. If we ever get an Elite, you know, some people just don't get Elite figures. So we'll just have to see. But I would definitely like to see a new Dakota Kai in the future over this one. But it may have to hold dear in the collection until we get an Elite. You guys got to think, like, how long, like, Sarah Logan's one we've never had an Elite of. But her basic's pretty solid. So you never know. I I mean, I guess you're just going to have to play it by ear, see what we got. But there is Dakota Kai. Moving forward, guys, we have Kevin Owens. Now, this one's very interesting to me because you guys know that the last time they released this basic, it was, was it Basic Series 111? It was like five series ago, and they released this exact basic, but the head sculpt, or it wasn't the exact basic, it was pretty much the exact basic, but you get what I'm saying. The hair color was really red and like ginger brown, and then, did they do that on purpose? Did they make figures inaccurate on purpose? So that way, in a few other series, they can re-release it with the accurate paint. They got your money anyway. They're like, oh, they'll buy it anyway and just paint it and customize it. And then five series later, we got to put Kevin Owens back in the line, so we might as well make it accurate this time. And then you're going to buy that one because you know that you ain't got to paint it. I don't know, Brad. I don't know. Just things that come to my brain, you know. I'm just thinking off the top of my head. But this head sculpt definitely looks way better than the one that we got a while ago. It looks better than the Elite 80 that we just got. And this makes it where I don't have to freaking paint it. I mean, if I want to add the fade to the, you know, the fade effect that I add to my figures, if you want to add the touch of gray and the details, then yes, you will have to paint it. But it definitely looks a lot better than the ginger head sculpt that we got in Elite 80 and the other basics. So, and it doesn't look like the eyes have that messed up problem either. So this Kevin Owens is looking better. 
And, you know, I like Kevin Owens, so I'll probably end up grabbing this. I probably won't spend any money on it, like, to order it. I say that now. I probably will end up doing that. But I, I am going to track this down, like, eventually, I'm sure. Especially if I get a bunch of copies of Elite 80. I'm not going to want to repaint that head sculpt over and over and over and over and over again, trying to get that fade effect. So I'll probably end up buying this. That way, the brown color is already set in stone. But that is not the last basic we have, guys. We also have Sheamus. Now, this may be the best Sheamus head sculpt I've ever seen. I think this is really, really good. I like the skin tone with it. It looks really good for Sheamus. This is a very, very good head sculpt. I think, like, the wrinkles and the anger in the face, I think putting this on the Elite 58 Sheamus, or any Elite Sheamus, really, but the Elite 58, the one that's the most recent Sheamus, which feels like forever ago now, almost 30 series ago, this head sculpt is really immaculate. Probably the best Sheamus head sculpt to date. The beard looks good. The hair color looks good. Uh, the skin tone looks good. The likeness is there. I mean, this is a damn good basic as far as head sculpts are concerned. So, Sheamus is looking really good. Um, overall on the set, I just feel like Dakota Kai could definitely be a lot better. I don't, I think it looks better at different angles, but overall just not really feeling that likeness to it. Kevin Owens definitely looks better from his updated basic there with the updated hair color. Sheamus looks really good. Seth Rollins is what it is. Um, the rest of the bet, Tegan Knox, man, I think that's a big miss there. Hate that, you know, that's not very accurate. Humberto Carrillo looks really good in the white attire, so that's really nice to see. But overall, I think that's all of the new figures we have. I don't think we have anymore, but I wanted to get on here and let you you guys know about them and showcase them to you just in case you guys wanted to get in on that or what you thought of these if we have any other images or any other figure images or anything like that i'll definitely get on here and share it with you guys but this is all we got for today so i figured i'd get on here showcase it to you and you guys could let me know what you think of all of it down in the comment section below hopefully my elite 82 arrives very soon man i'm really wanting to get my reviews in of those i cannot wait for that set you guys know we got a lit set um, you got Finn Balor, you got Keith Lee, you got John Morrison. I mean, I am super excited for what we're getting in that set, so we'll just have to see. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you think of everything down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys. I got to get my random shout-out. Hold up. I almost forgot about it. I almost forgot about it. Let's get into the random comment. So for the random shout-out, guys, it is going to go to Ann Toer. It says, am I the only one who says the intro with him? And then it's supposed to drop down, I think. It says, P.S. Roddy looks like Jack Nicholson from The Shining. And she's actually really right right here and you are correct in saying i think a lot of people actually do the intro with me and i appreciate that you guys are awesome but the uh the roddy actually does look like that especially if you like customize it a little bit added a little beard a little scrappiness maybe a little bit more scraggly hair there that ish would definitely look like jack nicholson that's a really good catch right there and it's kind of funny because i think roddy piper's gimmick kind of reminded me of jack nicholson from the shining like you know the way he would just yell and the way he was so crazy from that movie i don't know something to think about but anyways guys that is going to do it for the random shout out thank you to ann for the comment let me know what you think of these basics down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks. You crossed the line. I've been beaten, broken.